So you can probably tell by the intro, um, you can definitely tell that LEGO Fortnite completely failed. Alright, so I'm going to get right into this video. I am going to leave some chapters down below so you guys can skip to any part you want to hear. But basically, LEGO Fortnite came out two months ago, I'm pretty sure. It was December 7th, it's February now. So that means we've had two months and we've had a lot of bug fixes, but we've had two little additions to the game, I guess. We have the launch pad, which is kind of helpful, but only for later game because I'm pretty sure it's hard to craft. And then we got a dagger. And I'm not like just hating on this mode because I didn't like it at all. I played it for about like the first week and a half straight with a couple friends. And we basically got to the end of the game like within that week and a half. I feel like we would have beat the game sooner if we took it a lot more serious. We just fold around blowing each other's houses up with TNT barrels. But with that said, there is no true progression system in the game. I mean, you can upgrade your village, sure, but just being tools as your main progression, just constantly going into these caves, mining stuff, and that being really the only progress you can make unless you focus on building something nice. It's just very boring and there's basically nothing else to do in the game. Another major issue with them releasing prior to like christmas break and stuff is that there's not enough content to last until a month later and then you add i think it was the launch pad first and then we got the dagger but basically what i'm trying to say is that you can't have the game be out for a month add nothing i mean we got quality fixes and stuff and bug fixes but that's just not enough to hold your game over until two months later and you add a launch pad and that's it but another thing that's very important is that we don't have any really news we don't have a roadmap we don't have we don't know anything about future updates that this game will get with the leaks that are out and have been out for i think a month or two already um they're definitely due to add something major to the game because the game's just dwindling in um players at uh, like day by day i will say they're doing a horrible job of just like promoting this game whatsoever i'm pretty sure if you look at the twitter they did retweet some like big builds but other than that, it's really just them announcing that they added more skins into like the Lego like variant. I'm going to keep calling it that. And another thing is, is that I made build tutorials on how to build stuff. Right. And so did many other people. But with the game not changing and there just being so many limits, I think there is a build limit, too. It started out with a bunch of people making stuff, them retweeting it, and it's basically been that since its release. And content on the game has like dropped tremendously. Like I don't get like Lego videos <laughs> in my feed anymore. And another thing I think this game struggles with is the liveliness of the, your environment. I mean, you have animals and stuff, right? But it's not like you can like befriend them, keep them or like put them in a pen and just keep them there. I tried building a two like fence high like stable or whatever you want to call it and they disappeared. I think this being a Lego game and like being directly partnered, I don't know how it works. I don't know if they reached out to like Fortnite or they reached or like Fortnite reached out to Lego. But it is a collaboration. You think there would be like Lego sets announced? I mean... Like, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I fuck with Legos. I don't think I'd be the type of person to buy a Lego Fortnite, like, set. I was looking, like, around. Just, like, out of the blue, I clicked on this, like, Reddit link. And somebody said something about if there's not leaks in, like, there's, like, a Lego, like, Reddit, like, uh, like, they leak, like, information about sets that are upcoming. And they said there's nothing in there. So that probably means we're not getting any Lego sets of lego fortnite but the main issue that i have with this game is the transportation yeah we got like wheels and stuff but we have no way to turn the thing without using like some special glitch like dropping a thruster into like a little like slot so it can turn like the easiest thing they could do and what they should do is easily just add a horse or something like that's the easiest thing you could do and i doubt it would be hard to like implement something like that maybe you just gotta like add a model and then animate the thing i mean i can't do that but i'm pretty sure they got some pretty experienced people on their fortnite lego team but with all that said um i think i'm gonna start wrapping things up uh, things they could do i mean they need to update the game there's not enough like content in the game for them to just be adding two little things i mean they're cool but it's just this is not enough i mean but with the game sitting stale and boring i mean there's people playing it like there's definitely people that are probably diehard fans for this but me personally i can't play this game because it's just the same thing and i'm not just making this video to be rude or anything i have like major respect for the people behind this game i it was fun as hell but i think they could just 
do a better job being transparent with the community i mean i don't think we have any news i mean we have leaks but that's not from them but that's it for today's video uh if you guys definitely did make it this far make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed it but i do want to hear your guys's uh comments on this in the comment section below i'll reply to as many as i can but um yeah guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace